It's a living, breathing surface and it's a constant battle to sort of keep them as healthy and as strong as you possibly can. My name is Neil Stubbley and I am the head groundsman of the All England Lawn Tennis Club. This will be my 20th tournament uh, here as, um, as a groundsman. I started here from college, so I, I've literally started as the tee boy and, and, and worked my way to the top. In my industry, you know, this is one of the, the top jobs that you can have. So to take these courts, continue to take them forward, you know, and be part of that history with the rest of the team, it's an honour. It's one of those jobs that once you're here, you're here for, and for life. Uh, and it's just nice to be a part of that. So as you can see, here's the surface. We're, uh, we're down to our playing height now of eight millimetres. Um, this is our playing height. Uh, outside of the playing season, we bring that height of cut up to, uh, to 13 millimetres. For the summer, it's eight. It's eight. Um, and it's just a process now of drying the court out. So we are a, a clay loamed base. Uh, and, and what that does is, as it dries out, it becomes very firm. So that's how we get our ball bounce. So as you can hear, very hard surface, the actual essential important ingredient is the soil and the firmness and that's what gives us the game. My normal daily routine during the championships will be I will wake up at five o'clock in the morning, I will have a look at the weather, I'll get the early weather reports, we'll then decide whether the covers need to come off. We then start cutting, marking out all the courts. Most courts will play until 9, 9.15. We'll then brush the courts, make sure they're nice and clean. We'll then look at the hardness readings and see how hard they're getting. All being well, I'm normally away from here by about 10.30, 11 every night. We've done some measurements this morning on the soils just to get the firmness and the courts are firming up a little bit quicker than we would like. So what we're doing at the moment is we're just going through the process of putting a little bit of water through each court uh, just to make sure that we, we keep them near the, uh, the magic number. You're always mindful of what potentially can go wrong. And yeah, so you just constantly worry the whole championships. Sometimes you'll wake up and you've had a dream where it's day one of the championships and the baselines are already worn out before you start. It's not until the morning after the championships are finished that you can actually relax, look back and think, yeah, that's a good, good successful championships. If the players don't say anything, then, then they're happy. It's not necessarily that they have to sort of pat us on the back and say, great courts team, well done. If they don't say anything, we know they're happy and that's good enough for us.